Alrighty people, thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get started with a balloon business and things I've learned along the way. So thank you so much again for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're new and you don't know me, my name is Claudia. I am the co-founder of Confetti World. So the first thing I wanted to start out was talking about at first, when you first get started and you're like, okay, I wanna get started with this balloon industry and balloon business, so what do I do? My first recommendation for you would be to start educating yourself. Education is power. The more that you know, the better. So what do I mean by this? When I first started out my balloon business and our balloon business, because it's me and my brother, um, I just didn't know a lot. So all I wanted to do was learn, 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 learn. And that's what I did. I was a sponge and I started absorbing all of the information that I could because I wanted to learn different techniques and different things because the more that you know, the more things that you can offer to your client. And even though we have years of experience, to this day, there's still things that I can learn. It doesn't matter how many years of experience you have with balloons, there's still something new that you can learn every single day. Um, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I was in a conference in Chicago and even though there were things that maybe I had an idea of how to do them, it was still super cool to watch other balloon artists do their work because you see their technique and then you see your technique and then you try to adapt those two techniques together and figure out how you can do it and what works for you. So that's a tip that I wanted to give you guys because even today I still go to balloon expos. I think it's super cool to go because even though you learn a lot, you still want to be on trends and things and it doesn't even have to be balloon related. There's different expos and things that you can learn along the way. For example, branding, how to brand your product, how to brand, what is your brand? What does your brand stand for? Your missions, your values, everything like that. Um, you can also learn how to market your products, how to do advertisement, how you can do advertisement. So there's always something new that you can learn. So at first it can be really overwhelming because you may not know. So the solution for that would be educating yourself. So the second topic that I wanted to talk about is how to market your products. When I first started out in this industry, a lot of my time would go towards clients and it still does, but it's a different way. And I don't know if you guys have heard the, the phrase, work smarter, not harder. And that's something that I try to learn along the way. At first, it was a lot, a lot about talking to clients and going back and forth. And at first, you may receive clients contacting you and you would get super excited, but then you would message them and you would spend like an hour messaging back and forth, calling them, telling them about prices. And then all of a sudden, Sometimes maybe the clients that are not interested, they just disappear and you just wasted one hour, one hour of your time just going through that conversation. So what I would recommend for you, it's how you market your products. So let's say you get started, right? And at first you may not have the time or you may not have the, you don't want to spend that much money on a website and someone to build your website. So what I would recommend is do at least a catalog and name your product A, B, C, and D. And then your product A, it's gonna start at this price. Product B starts at this price. Product C starts at this price. Product D starts at this price. So at least when you first are having that conversation with that client, the client knows the expectations of where your pricing is gonna start. That's super important because that way you lose that, maybe that they're not interested. If you tell them from the beginning, hi, thank you so much for contacting us. Here's our catalog. You, If you have any questions, let me know. At least they know and they have an idea of how much you charge, which leads me to the next topic. A lot of clients may find a picture on Pinterest whenever you get started or still today, I still receive pictures like, hey, I love this and I know that you can do it. And that's also something I wanted to talk about. It's expectations. Not every single person works the same. And as long as you are honest with your client, that's all they care about. And that's why expectations are so important. If a client sends you a picture of the colors, you're like, yep, I can do that. Don't say that. What you wouldn't want to say to a client is, thank you so much for sending that inspirational picture. We would love to do something very similar to that picture. Because if you do, if you say exactly the same, they're going to expect the exact same product of the picture that they're sending you. And again, every single person works differently. You don't know in that Pinterest picture what brand they use, what color and shades they use. Even though you may have an idea, you don't know exactly what they use. So just let the client know, hey, just wanted to let you know, we can definitely use this as an inspirational picture, but I'm going to put 
my work in, you know? So that way they know what to expect. So that's something else I wanted to talk about because sometimes we get super excited of a theme and idea that maybe we haven't done before that we're excited to try out, but it's super important to let your client know that you're gonna do it your way, okay? And something else later on when you get started with the business, one of the things that we did was we created a website where our clients are able to see the different models that we offer and the prices. So when a client comes to us, they know exactly or they at least have an idea on how to do it. Right now, a lot of the clients that we get, they just order through the website, we receive the order and we deliver it. So it's super quick because you don't spend one, two hours or even days talking with a client. I'm not saying, I think it's super important to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction, but you also wanna, again, work smarter, not harder. So just going through the website and just even whenever you receive an order, hey, we received your order, thank you so much for trusting us and letting them know that you received it rather than going back and forth for days. But again, a website at first is not necessary. Later on, it's good for you guys to have it. But if you start out with a catalog and something that you can do like on canva.com, then that's something that can help you out a ton. Something else I wanted to touch on was referrals and advertisement, but try to use the clients that you already have and try to get more clients. What do I mean by that? Whenever you make a party, whenever you make a balloon bouquet, just make sure, and I know it sounds obvious, but sometimes people forget because it, it has happened to me as well, to put a business card. Guys, if a mom that has three kids is throwing a birthday party for her daughter and all their friends, of course their moms are gonna go, and that's the best advertisement. Other moms looking at your work and being at that party. That way, there's no better feeling that people watching your product in real life. Because a ton of the ways that people do it, it's just through a picture. So looking at it in real person and being at that party, it's like, oh my God, this is beautiful. And they get to see it in person and the work that you've done. So don't ever forget a business card. For us, it's on the checklist that a balloon bouquet or any thing that comes out of our warehouse, it has to have a business card on. Because it's super important, sometimes also, even though you would say, oh, maybe my client is gonna tell her friends, but sometimes people don't wanna ask. So by your business card being there, you don't, that way they just take a picture and they're gonna consider you for the next party. So obviously I can go on and on with this topic, um, but I at least wanted to throw a few things out there because I know sometimes it's overwhelming at first when you first get started. Also, don't ever compare yourself to others because every single person goes on a different journey. Um, of course, at first it's really overwhelming, but also always remember your passion, the reason why you're doing it, and what keeps you motivated every single day. And I'm sure that if you remember every single day the motive and what you're looking for and your motivation, you can definitely do it. Don't compare yourself to other people that maybe have done it for way more years than you. Each person has their own path. So if you're thinking about starting a balloon business, welcome to this beautiful world. I'm excited to, we are excited, my brother and I and our team, to share all those tips and tricks that we have. So thank you for being here. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. Bye, thank you party people.